Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, it's for Thursday, the 21st day of February, here we go. You know that it's a fast day, and I've given you all the laws about the fast day, please refer to yesterday's halacha for that. If you're hearing this in the middle of the fast, I hope you have a very meaningful fast, and remember that the fast ends same time approximately that Shabbos ends in your area. Okay, more stuff that you need to know for Shabbos, please note that it's going to be Shabbos Zachar, Parsha Zachar, and you should get to Shul to make sure to hear the Torah reading, especially the end of the Torah reading, which has a special mitzvah about remembering to wipe out the memory of Amalek, but more Purim laws for you to know, and they are. The uh, reader of the Megillah will have, especially him, not so much on us, but the reader of the Megillah will have the special mitzvah of that when he reads all the names of the ten sons of Haman, that he reads them all in one breath to signify that they were quickly taken down, so to speak, killed, um, in because Hashem, God, wanted that to happen. And so they're all read in one one holding of a breath. That's why you'll hear him saying it kind of quickly. Uh, if he has to take a breath in the middle, that's fine. He still fulfills the mitzvah. It's just the more pure way to do it is to show how Hashem wiped them out in one breath, and therefore he should try to recite it all in one breath. Now, there's a mistaken custom that's out there where some people read it along with the reader at the same time. It's just kind of, enjo- I don't know where that came from, but it's not a proper custom. Okay, you should hear it from the reader. Of course, if you miss a word, like we told you in an earlier halakha, you say the word that you missed. But but in general, you let him read that for the whole congregation, and we don't read it together with him. There are a few points in the Megillah, and that's one of them, where we say some words before the reader, but then we all are silent to hear him reread it for us out of the Megillah. That's the, that's the proper way to do that. Okay, thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow. We'll give you a couple more laws before Purim is finally upon us, and uh, have a great and meaningful fast. Bye-bye.